Did you know that there are Shetsian extensions out there, which take the Shetsian components and make them even better? I mean, look at these enhanced buttons here. They are looking so clean and simple and they just have these clean animations when I hover them. And the code is actually so simple, you just have to adjust the variant. So this is all based on Shetsian. And yeah, how can you implement this? So we really just need to do two things. And the first thing is copy this code. So this is the button TSX, that is the file we get normally with Shetsian. So we go into the button TSX, I have a normal project here set it up. It's usually looking like that, we just delete everything. So just copy and paste the code from the website. And the second thing we need to do is the tailwind config.ts. And here we need to adjust some keyframes and animations. We have keyframes shine for the shining button. And the second thing is this animation here, shine animation. So we add this shine thing, format it, and there we go. So what we can do now is we have the simple button subscribe on a test page here. Let's take a look at it. It's looking just like that. Pretty simple, the normal Shetsian button. And yeah, what we can do now is to say a variant. And of course, we have our simple variants like default, destructive, but now we also have go left, go right, expand icon. Let's take a go left. Look at it. We, oh yes, this looks so great. Let's take a look if the shine is working. And yeah, the shine definitely is working. It looks great. And this tool is very easy. And in this video, we look at two more tools. So yeah, let's get into it. The second tool is made by Jerfa Belkashem. I hope I uh, spelled that out correctly. Um, and he made a Shetsian extension page and we have a lot of components here and some of them are very, very good. Yeah, the installation part is very easy and nearly every component is just built on top of Shetsian and made the Shetsian stuff pretty much better. Uh, and we have a change look here with from August 2024. So this is still uh, up to date. And we have simply three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine components here. And some of them are very great. We have a simple tree view. Okay. That's yeah, nothing special, but also very cool. And then we have this carousel with uh, bu which builds on top of Ambler carousel, which is a library for React. So this is not on top of Shetsian, but I wish Shetsian would have something like this because this is so useful. You have this sliders thing here on the side, can pick a slide. You can go through that here. You have uh, always the installation guide. It's pretty simple to Shetsian. So very nice. You just can always install it and then you can copy and paste the code block. And yeah, that's actually all. Yeah, you have some simple options for that. And you have even more variants. And that's what I love so much. You have sort of this design. You have it where the slides here are at the bottom and you can click through them. You have a, yeah, kind of like dire show where Everything is done automatically. Uh, so the swipe is done automatically, I mean. Then we have something like a multi-select, which is very useful. So um, yeah, it's sad that Chetsian doesn't support something like this, but this is very, very helpful. And you can even yeah get rid of them here. Then we have this OTP verification. So this is for yeah five digit numbers or six digit numbers. And you, yeah, it's just working quite well. So easy, but so effective. Then we have this smart uh, daytime input. and. That is one of my favorites because I don't know if this is just not working here, uh, but it says that you can just type in something like tomorrow at 5 p.m. and this is just working. So he automatically understands your natural language and make a daytime out of it. This is crazy, but the code of this is very, very large. So try that out, crazy component. Uh, next thing is daytime picker. I really like it. It's very smart and very simple. Um, it also looks just very minimalistic. I always like this minimalistic type of styles. And yeah, then we have a text input, nothing special. It's actually the same as a multi-selector. And we have a file upload, very simple, very clean UI library, just made by one person. So uh, I really appreciate his work. And yeah, then we also have a simple components overview here. So here you can again see all components, but just uh, one variant and yeah. I really think these are nine components that are very, very great. And yeah, shout out to Yerfa, which made a very clean library here. Thank you. And we are at the next library, which is made by Husson Yi Shu. I'm sorry if I don't spell your name correctly. Uh, yeah, but that's him. And he made a Shetsian extension library called Expansions, UI Expansions. And yeah, what do we have here? Let's get started. 
we have a simple introduction. I like that he's selling here. It is not a component library. It is a collection of reusable components because that's what uh, a lot of people are confusing. There are these UI libraries like Bootstrap, for example, and there are these reusable component UI libraries that are kind of like the new thing, like Shetzian, for example, or Magic UI, Saturnity. There are a lot out there. And yeah, so is that one. And... Uh, yeah, the code is yours, so we can do everything what we want with this code. And here are even more components, and I really like some of them. So we have this auto size text area, okay, text area which can auto size, nothing special, I would say. I like the block quote, this one looks great, and you can customize it as you want. And then we have the daytime picker, and the daytime picker here is actually one I like a lot because we have so much variance here. So, really, like, I really like that. Like we have disabled ones, we have ones with a ref, with uh, with inside of a form, we have locales, we have a year drop down range. This is so handy to have this just to copy and paste. So what we can do here is also just look at the code and just copy that into our project and this is working. So of course we need to install it, but this builds on top of Shetzian. So usually if you use Shetzian, you already have things like the select, the import or the pod pop over, I'm sorry, um, and then you can just install that. So then we have this dual range slider. I like that a lot because usually you just have it on one side, but sometimes you have to specify a range and then this is a great one. Then you have this infinite scroll thing and I like that a lot because infinite scrolling is something that a lot of people need, uh, especially for school projects and stuff like that. But this is not so easy because you need an observer and you need to understand the whole observer thing. and. Yeah, here in the code, we just have everything set it up. I mean, it's good to learn how it's working. So look at the code and not just copy and paste it. But it's working great. Uh, we have this lazy loading or this uh, yeah infinite scroll feature, uh, which is just observing the scroll state and then loads more products. So uh, really nice work here. Okay, then we have some simple loading buttons and yeah, some progress with values also very great. So you can um, yeah show a progress state. This is very handy for some people, so uh, you don't just have this loading spinner. Oh, here we just have a spinner, actually. Um, sometimes the spinner is not enough. We actually have very much variance here, I like that. But sometimes the spinner is not enough, and then you want some more, and then the, this progress bar with a value is very handy. Then we have this responsive model, and I will tell you I love this responsive model, because the problem of the model in Shetzian, for me, is on mobile it just looks garbage to be honest so uh this one is looking the same on uh, yeah on on desktop devices uh but the background is um not dark it is bright here and i like that a lot but if we go to mobile and say open then this comes up as a drawer from the button so it automatically switches at a specific viewport and yeah i really really like that one and then we also have a multiple selector as we already saw in the in the other extension so you can decide what which one you like more which one looks better this has a delete everything function i don't know if uh, the other one had that but we have uh, again a lot of yeah a lot of variants on this so that's what I really like about that second one, that you have to just these variants, because usually you are just not happy with the basic functionality and then you have to jump in and build your own functionality and sometimes this can get very complex and if they just deliver you more options, why not? It's just easier for us developers and that's what we want. If you are interested in Shetzian, then take a look at my Shetzian video or if you're interested in design or styling in general, then look at my Tailwind video. I hope you build great projects with this and yeah, thank you for watching, subscribe to this channel, like this video and thank you. Bye bye.